on the Improper Improv show with Joe and Flip. Their special guest, Shampoo, also known as Shammy, has some choice words for comedian Corey Holcomb and his longtime co host on the 5150 show, Darlene Ortiz. If you recall a few months back, Corey made a comment about Melissa Ford during his show about her drinking a lot of energy drinks back in her video Vixen days. While reporting on her ex-boyfriend Flo Rida winning a lawsuit with a popular energy drink for millions, this is what he had to say. Yeah, because she drunk a lot of energy drink. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa Ford. Whatever. She's nice. I met her a couple of times. Yeah, I've done a couple of photo shoots of her. But anyway, so congrats. Her throat made of vibranium. <laughs> Shampoo saw this and took the opportunity to call out Corey and also take some shots at Darlene in the name of defending the new JBP co-host, Miss Ford, and this is how it went. And another thing. Happy birthday, Remy Ma. That's it. Yeah. It's been three weeks, couple of weeks, and I just want to say something about Corey Hokum. Corey Hokum said something about Melissa Ford that I think should not go untouched. He insinuated that she sucked the lava. Yo. I'm telling you, he did. He did. You have to defend her. I was waiting for you to say something. I saw it. Somebody uh, uh, about the guy that uh, the uh, Flo Rida. I watched the show. I watched the segment. He said, oh, she drank a lot of energy drinks. Like insinuating in her lifetime, she she was a video vixen. She was one of the baddest girls in 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 in. in okay. the, I was there. First, let me just say this: no Melissa Ford slander, right? No, I'm, I'm not, sticking up for. I, I, okay, I don't I don't know what he slander. Said. You ever see? I'm talking about. He's talking about your co-host. I want to talk about his co-host, Hold the me, one who used to be with Ice T. Give me. Her name is Darlene Ortiz. Give me a second. <clears throat> I don't know who he is. I told you that earlier. He's a comedian, right. very talented. All right. I, but I thought it went over the line. With, he disrespected with, Melissa Ford. Yep. I thought so. I took it as disrespect. Come. That's what I said. F him. I don't. Uh, yeah. Anybody disrespecting Melissa Ford is f him. Yeah. I mean, that's what he said, and I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Okay. And, that, and I. He I said he tried to insinuate by her drinking a lot of energy drinks. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Come. And what did he say? Oh, she get a seven point five. She wasn't really bad. She wasn't. They, they, I guess he was trying to get. So who? Go. What about his co-host? Now you see somebody. Else? <clears throat> his co-host went with has a son by Ice T. Okay. He left her for Coco. Okay. Right. She was a video vixen too, along in the same era as Melissa Ford. Okay. She was the first. She was the first video vixen famous. Darlene Ortiz, you can do your Googles. Then Melissa Ford was the more most popular. Now on the on the podcast, she wasn't dissing her. He was. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. I didn't, I, I just it just it, it was uncalled for. I gotta see it. Whatever somebody does in their personal life is their business. Hmm. She was in videos with Joe to see. Do you remember? You was young. You and, and you sure? Am I sure? If anybody this Melissa Ford is fuck him. Yeah. That's how I feel. I, I got you. the tape. Are you are you, you are you sure that this man did that? Yes, I heard him. Now why would I say I, listen, I ain't gonna never get on this mic and tell you nothing that ain't true. I don't care you you could get up and say you shouldn't say it, but you can't say I'm lying. And Maybe some things so, I say might be hard to hear, but you can't say I'm lying. But, Curtis and, salute. And you but, but now you hating on his co host. Yeah. What's wrong with her? She's a nice one. Shout out to IC. So I'll tell you, yeah, but why he why he ain't marry her? Why he don't talk about her? Her like he talk about Melissa Ford. What do you want to say about his, his? She don't look like Melissa Ford no more. Melissa Ford still look good at fifty three. Melissa Ford is not fifty three. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know how old she. I thought she was. I, but anyway, she still look good as a motherfucker. Got it. And the other girl don't. No, she Let's... looks crazy. <laughs> That's Yo. why he's still for. <laughs> Let me see. What's her name? You said? Your co-host. You talking about the queen up here? What's 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 her name? Darlene Ortiz. Author. She looks nice. She wrote a book. I, She's listen, a beautiful she, woman. She wrote a book about iced tea and, and hip hop and all kind of stuff. She didn't say nothing huh? bad about. It. Yes. 
She look, come on, my nigga. Come on. Come on. Come on. She looks nice, Sam. No, she look nice. <laughs> she does. She looks amazing. Would you f her? I'm not exactly. I, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Why, why would you <clears throat> ask me that? I'm not going to answer that question like that. No. Shit. <laughs> huh? I'm just saying it was disrespect and we got to stick up for her. Stop. So I just wanted to get that off my chest. He was in a movie uh, uh, um, called Watermelon Heist. Sitting on a watermelon, smiling with a pitchfork and, and overalls. And you gonna call somebody a coon? Yeah, I'm sticking up for Stephen A. Smith. These people are successful, huge, uh, 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 multimedia people. We waited all our lives to get people like this. And you gonna tear him down, call him a coon? Why, cause he next to the white man? What y'all think about what Shammy and Queens had to say about Corey Holcomb? Let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like and subscribe to the GMS show. I'll see y'all later.